Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome back to my modern C++ series. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Bitcast. So Bitcast is yet another way to convert data from something to another type here. Now we're going to see some of its advantages versus reinterpret cast and how it's a little bit different here. So, so far we've talked about on this series, C style cast, data cast, dynamic cast, reinterpret cast. I think cons cast has come up at least in the comments. So we can talk about that more, but we've got yet another one, which is a C++ library solution Bitcast. So let's go ahead and get into it on cppreference.com. You can find Find in the bit manipulation section here, and this is going to be under bitcast. So again, the idea is that you're reinterpreting the object representation from one type as that of another. Okay, so that's the idea. We're going to, uh, so just looking at the type signature here, we can see that this is templated, uh, which has some interesting repercussions here, some good things actually, uh, but we're going to take some type and convert to uh, that type from some other type here. Okay. Now, uh, again, that's sort of the idea here. So again, you're not going to mess with whatever type you're converting from, but you'll return uh, a new copy of those bytes uh, to your, uh, wherever you're copying it to. So that's kind of that idea here that you're doing a copy here rather than working with the actual bytes. Now, when we looked at some of, um, the previous videos where I did the uh, conversion operators, for instance, a lot of times when you are doing conversions, maybe you are making a copy or, or something behind the scenes anyways. Uh, but anyways, you can see that that's just kind of uh, apparent what that's gonna be doing here. So this works with trivially copyable types here. Uh, but what makes bitcast kind of interesting is one, it's a library function, which is kind of interesting because then it can evolve uh, a little bit more freely, I would say, um, if we come up with other things or maybe a const eval version. Uh, but it is exactly this const expert here uh, that's interesting because that means that, well, this can happen at compile time. So let me go ahead and just demonstrate it. Uh, I have this example here on compiler explorer here, uh, and we can see that I have a long value here and I want to do the bitcast to a double. Um, and there's also some nice uh, protections here with uh, bitcast. Uh, so let's say I try to convert it to a float here. Um, that is actually going to uh, fail here. Uh, it's going to say, yeah, no matching call, et cetera, et cetera. And I think it's mostly going to complain. Let's see if it gives us a good error message here. Um, yeah, it's just going to say it doesn't have a type defined here because of this. Ah, here's the constraints here. Um, the sizes aren't the same here, right? So if I'm going from a type that's eight uh, bytes here to a size that's four bytes, uh, which a float typically is, I mean, at least on this, whatever machine's running on Compiler Explorer, I guess, um, you know, that's gonna give us an error here. So that's kind of a nice thing here. Again, just more protection um, that you'll get with the style of casting here. Now, if I, if I was just doing a, um, you know, like a C style cast here with a truncation, um, yeah, then, then you just get your data like truncated. I mean, it'll try to do the type here. Uh, in fact, I can do it at const expert if you just use the C style uh, call here, uh, I guess, which is nice here. But um, again, you don't know what's necessarily gonna happen. So that may or may not be a defined uh, behavior that you want here. So bit cast here, a little bit safer here and that'll catch that. Uh, but again, the nice thing is that you can notice this is doing this uh, at compile time with const expert here, right? I don't see a call to bit cast. Uh, versus if I comment this out and just go down here uh, and I omit the const expert here, you will see that, well, we have the actual call here. Okay. So um, if you want to do stuff at compile time, if this is part of your, you know, you're doing stuff with templates and so on, you can sometimes get a little bit of a savings here by avoiding this call and whatever work is being done here. Um, and you can actually see some of the constraints here, which is kind of neat <laughs> that the sizes are the same. It's trivially copyable. Um, you know, for the actual uh, types and so on. So you need like plain old data types. If you're going to be using uh, pointers and stuff, so it, for instance, just as a reminder here with uh, Bitcast, um, you know, th th this below here doesn't work here because um, for this reinterpret cast here, it's going to say invalid because you need, you know, some kind of reference or pointer type, right? And this is the point of, uh, let's, let's see if we can make this a, a pointer type really quick here, something like this here cast to a double, take the address. Now this is okay here, but uh, again, you're working with some sort of reference or pointer type for it. But big cast is just for literally, uh, I mean, effectively you're doing like a mem copy. Uh, and I think if we look at the implementation here, it might actually have that uh, as part of it. Yeah, you're basically just doing a mem copy here. So it's sort of a safe, safer mem copy, if you will, uh, is what Bitcast is. And it'll allow you to do this potentially at uh, compile time with const expert. Uh, so that's really all there is to uh, Bitcast here. Uh, I think it's a bit safer um, overall. Uh, so let's kind of put this in a good uh, state here. 
like this. This is all you have to remember here. And I think you'll start to see in the core guidelines, I think over time, uh, folks will start leaning into this versus reinterpret cast when you need to do, um, you know, different types of operations here. Now, a question you might have is, you know, what, what if these were like pointer types or something? Can I do the type punning? Um, you know, if I did have, let's say, you know, let, let's say this was a uh, foot here. Now, now here I am getting the conversion here. Uh, let's see, but it, let's say, yeah, let, let's make this a float here. Uh, let's make it a, a byte here. Let's do another uh, example. Sorry, we'll do one more just for uh, completeness here. Uh, but let's say I did have uh, or want to access this as a byte uh, or let's do a char here. C here. Uh, let's do something like this here. And we want to cast this something like this. Will this work here? Uh, can I do my type punning with bit cast? Uh, let's go ahead and see here. Uh, in this function here, error built in bit cast is not a constant expression. Okay, so we might not be able to get away with doing this at const exper. So let's see if we can get rid of that here. Uh, this will still work here. Okay, so yeah, because I have my uh, pointer types. And again, that's kind of a reason why reinterpret cast isn't going to know at compile time, right? If I'm passing in a pointer, like what am I actually accessing? I, again, unless it's a uh, like value stored or something that you could compute at compile time. Uh, but anyway, so you could still do this sort of type punning. And this is why I think it'll be a little bit safer in the future uh, that folks will use this instead of reinterpret cast. Again, one, because it sticks out. Two, it could benefit from any evolution later in the language. Um, and I mean, you can do essentially a lot of the same uh, stuff with it. So anyways, there you have it. That's BitCast, short one for you today. But if you've been enjoying these videos and more, you can check out courses.mshot.io, uh, follow these uh, lessons uh, in order. Um, I guess the, the last thing maybe I should show you uh, before we leave, because if you did follow along in our series, the previous video was a little programming challenge. Let's, let's paste in. I have my little uh, double function uh, here. Uh, let's actually just print out the bytes here just so you can see them because uh, I think this would be fun and again I always encourage you you know as you're learning stuff in this series to kind of connect uh, with previous topics here uh, let's see so this is a version of my double to binary uh, function let's see here do we have everything that we need here I think we do it's compiling um, let's let's print out our uh, double representation here Let's just go ahead and do it here and see if we get the same thing here uh, from our bitcast, just so that we can see it's working double to bin. Now, this is also good uh, to just try things out quickly in Compiler Explorer. Uh, let's see here if our program's going to print something out here. And we get our, let's see, did we get our results as we wanted? Well, I mean, this is kind of interesting. That's why we have this function here. Um, uh, this looks like to me the value 255 here. So I should print out, uh, let's see here, uh, D is, uh, let's go ahead and put here, uh, let's print out what L is, uh, L is, okay, uh, L, and let's go ahead and see what the uh, the values are here. I mean, is, is D actually just 255? Is that the uh, representation here. Now D is giving us something uh, weird here. And here we go. Here we go. Uh, and I think this is the other uh, maybe thing that's, well, I should just make uh, more apparent here, is that this is just doing like a mem copy, right, in the bit cast here. So let me scroll up. I'll scroll down to it potentially. Right, I'm basically just doing a copy of the bits from one to the other. So there's no, you know, uh, magic here uh, in some sense here. Versus if I am, uh, let's say, doing the, uh, let's do a reinterpret cast here and kind of see the difference here. Uh, actually, we could just do this uh, double to bin here. Let's do a reinter. Oops, I don't need a new tab here. Reinterpret cast. Uh, let's convert this to a double, our value L here. Uh, and let's see what that uh, prints out here. Reinterpret uh, cast. Now, oh, of course, uh, this has to be a uh, reference type here. Here, let's do a static cast here. Let's see if that'll do the trick here. Let's treat this type uh, as we might expect here. 
And then this one, the second one that I'm printing out, uh, if you remember from our previous video, which maybe you don't, so let me go ahead and bring up our little binary converter here. Uh, this is the value of 255, right? Which hasn't changed here. It's zero, one, a bunch of ones, ones, and then you know some zeros here. Uh, let's see, does that match what our output is here? Uh, zero, one, a bunch of ones, some ones, and then a bunch of zeros here. Yes, it does here. Okay, so uh, again, bit cast. Uh, maybe I can summarize this. Bit cast is effectively a uh, mem copy, a safe way to mem copy. But uh, it is just that. Uh, it can happen at compile time. And it otherwise uh, has some safety, has some safety checks. OK? So maybe that's a better summary of bitcast. I guess, you know, really printing out the, the, the bits and the bytes is handy. Again, that's why we spent a previous uh, whole video writing this little function or some variation of that function. Um, just so you can see, again, it's just copying the bytes. Uh, so it's a little bit different, again, than reinterpret cast, but a different uh, type of cast, just casting the uh, bits here, OK? And that's why it appears that we get, you know, this garbage value or not 255.0 as you might uh, expect here, which is what you're going to get when you have like a, a reinterpret cast here. In fact, let's just go ahead and do uh, reinterpret uh, cast of, uh, or sorry, let's just do the C style cast. So it'll actually uh, work here of a double from our long value. Okay. Uh, and this is just going to be the uh, conversion kind of cast, okay? Uh, let's give that a moment to print out. Uh, and I think it is already printing out to 255 there. Uh, so you can see it here, right? Uh, so we're treating this L as uh, the double value here, but getting the correct uh, representation here, okay? Which is like the static cast here. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Bitcast is basically a safe mem copy that you can do at compile time, uh, potentially with const expert for trivial types, and that's it. Alrighty, folks, now I'll go ahead and point you here so you can watch all the videos. You can uh, go back to that previous video and challenge yourself to write this function. Don't look at it too long. Try to do it yourself. It's a good exercise. And uh, yeah, let me know if you're using Bitcast. Let me know if you've used it to replace some of your reinterpret casts. Um, now, I guess you do have to be careful in that case where you're doing something like uh, floating point to integral types here, as I just shown, since it is like a mem copy. But um, yeah, again, it's going to be a safer form, a more explicit form uh, for uh, showing what the conversions actually are. Alrighty, folks. So with that said, uh, thanks for your time and attention, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.